When initially designing the home, one of the most important things is the street appeal. And the vista is one that I really wanted to capture people's interest. Wanted to use a mix of materials. Laying the timber vertically on the front elevation really accentuates the height of the building. Typically on a skillion roof, you would always do it left to right. On this particular home, we rotated it around to go from the back to the front to create a really high ceiling in those front rooms on the upper floor. One of the things I love about this home is the way that it walks. It, it's quite an organic feel as you're walking through the home. It just feels natural. This home uses the staircase as a stunning central point to the home. The pendants in the stairwell really catch your eye. And with the vertical panelling, it really gives that coastal Hamptons look. I love how we've designed the kitchen in this home, in particular the open shelving, which we've actually made as a design feature. Outside in the alfresco, we wanted the external barbecue area or kitchen to be an extension of the internal area and just flow all the way through from outside to in. This again leads in further to the laundry area where it's an enormous amount of cabinetry and I think looks really great in the overall finish of it. So we love thinking about how people are going to use their homes. A great example of this in the Vista is the appliance cupboard in the kitchen. It's a great place for you to store your coffee machine or your blender and you can close your doors and hide them away. Coming in from the garage, you've got a shopper's door, which basically allows you to grab your shopping straight through into the pantry area. These are some of the subtle things that we do when designing a home that not everyone will notice straight away. The Vista has a resort style master suite with the vertical timber features and the bench seat. I could see myself sitting, enjoying a coffee and looking out over the balcony.